Learn how to customize your survey or quiz using the Add Section feature of Google Forms. You are watching my eClass in Bytes. I'm Elena and I make videos about education, technology, and content creation. Thanks for being here. It's been a while since I posted a tutorial video and now it's the perfect time to make one. In this video, I will show you how to customize your surveys or quizzes in Google Forms using its Add Section feature. But for the purpose of time, I will only make a demo survey. I have a video on how to make a quiz using Google Forms and I will put the link on the description below. The Add Section feature is very helpful if you make surveys in Google Forms and you have two or more sets of respondents. Then you have different questions for each type of respondents. You can customize your Google Forms by setting up the Add Section feature. Let me start the demo now. Start a new Google Form. As you can see, we have here a sample of a simple survey in Google Forms titled Demo Survey. I will type a short instruction for the respondents. First question is the name of the respondent, but since it's optional, I will not tick required. Next is asking for the status. On this demo survey, my two types of respondents are the faculty and students. Now, I will use the Add section to customize my survey. Under Section 2 of 2, my title is for faculty. This section will only be answered by a faculty respondent. In this section, I will ask what department they belong to, what subjects they are teaching, and their years of service. The type of questions will depend on your preference or its appropriateness to the data being asked. Add a new section. This time, section 3 of 3 will be for student respondents. In this section, I will ask about the course major and year level of the student.
another section is added. This section is to be answered by both types of respondents. I'm asking them to rate their new normal teaching or learning experience and their preferred mode of teaching or learning for the coming school year. Do not forget to tick required for questions that need to be answered by your respondents. Since the type of respondent is determined on the status question, we go back to section 1, so we can direct the section based on their answer. Click the three dots and choose the Go to section based on the answer. Then, set up the Go to section for each option. For faculty, go to section 2. For students, go to section 3. Go to section 2. At the end of it, instead of continue the next section, choose go to section 4 so that the faculty respondent will skip the section for students and go directly to the section for all respondents. In section 3, leave as it is since the next section is already section 4. Let's now test if the Google Forms are correct. As you can see, after answering the section for faculty and upon clicking next, it went straight to the section for all respondents. Same with the students section.
I hope you will use this ad section feature in your next Google Forms. You can also apply this to your quizzes. There are videos here that can help you on how to make Google Forms. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, like, comment, and share. See you on my next videos. Stay safe!